Hey you. Yeah you. Come a little closer. Have you ever wanted to find the perfect editing bundle for DaVinci Resolve that looks professional, it's easy to use, and most importantly, it's affordable? Well, what if I told you it's here, and it includes everything that you need to level up your edits? The best part is that not only does this bundle work with Mac and PC, it works with Resolve on the iPad as well, and it works in either the free or the studio versions. So this is what we're gonna be talking about in today's video, and trust me, you don't want to miss it. What's up guys, how the heck are you doing? Welcome to today's video. If you're new here, my name is Drew Safer, and on this channel I talk about filmmaking and photography tips, tricks, and tutorials. And today's video is no exception because we are talking about something super gnarly. Speaking of gnarly, how rad was that intro? That intro was created in the free version of DaVinci Resolve on my iPad. Editing has become so streamlined and so easy lately because of all the tools that are being released geared towards editors. And that is due in part by companies like today's video sponsor, Visual VFX. So let me tell you guys about this company real quick. So Visual VFX sent me over their all-in-one bundle full of editing assets to review on this channel, as well as hook you guys up with some discount codes to get it for yourself if you want to pick it up. And spoiler alert, you're going to want to pick it up because it is freaking sick. And I'm not just saying that, but I haven't been this excited for editing assets in a very long time. I'm talking about way back in the day when Red Giant came out with assets for Adobe Premiere. The assets in this bundle is what helped me take that intro video to the next level. So let's go ahead and I want to show you guys a little bit about it right now. All right, so here we are on the Visual VFX website and this bundle has a lot. It has essentially every asset you could need to take your edits and videos to the next level with ease. Whether you're editing on a Mac, a PC, or editing on the iPad, there are over 1,700 assets here. Yeah, you heard me right. I said 1,700 assets. The all-in-one bundle includes LUTs, transitions, light leaks, and sound effects. And all of that rolled into one package. And it is on sale marked down from $397 to just 99 bucks. And like I said before, I'm going to hook you guys up with a discount code right now. So you can either follow the link down in the description or use promo code DREW10 at checkout to get an additional 10% off of the sale price of the bundles over at the Visual VFX store. And that is awesome because that is a one-time price and these assets are yours forever. And you have unlimited access on those and you can use them for personal or commercial work. And I don't know about you guys, but this is amazing because I am about subscription to death. And if you don't want the entire bundle, Visual VFX has made it easy to buy the specific assets that you want because they have broken them down into different packages. Like you can get just the transitions, the LUTs, the light leaks, or the sound effects at different price points. But I highly recommend going for the all-in-one bundle because once you start seeing the value and the quality of each individual bundle that you buy, they are just like Pokemon. You will want to collect them all. Trust me. So there's no way that I can touch on everything that is included in this all-in-one bundle in one video. So I'll be featuring some of Visual VFX assets in upcoming videos as well. But right now, I want to show you guys some of my favorite assets that are included in this bundle. So let's go ahead and let's hop into DaVinci Resolve right now. So here we are in DaVinci Resolve. And I have to say, one of the things I'm most excited for in this all-in-one bundle are the transitions. And that is because good transitions are hard to find, and this includes so many rad ones. Whether you're talking about spins, zooms, glitches, or just simple sliding transitions, you name it, and they include it here. It doesn't matter what type of content you're editing, there is a transition in here for you, I guarantee it. So after you install these in DaVinci Resolve, um, you will see them in your effects library under video transitions. So over here, you see the TR in front of all of these folders, and that is the visual effects transitions uh, in here. So they have bright lights, camera move, 
simple. Camera moves, zooms, camera moves, flips, glitches, morphing, rotation, and pan, shadow, split, and stretch. So we're not going to go through all these. I'm just going to show you guys how many transitions are in here and maybe show you a few applied to this basic footage that I have over here on my timeline. So this is Sony and Blackmagic footage. Uh, just some simple shots, doing some gear review stuff here, as well as some narrative stuff over here. Um, here we go. Let's open these up. Uh, so TR Bright Light. So when you look in here, TR stands for transition. Um, they have a bright light transitions, and these bright light transitions are pretty gnarly. I actually really enjoy these, and I've already gone through and starred some of these. This is how you favorite things in uh, DaVinci Resolve, and you're going to need to do that, especially with these visual VFX transitions because there is a lot of them. So the bright light ones, they sort of just give you a flash of light in between your two clips, and I just think it looks super cool. So let's collapse that folder. And if you're a fan of like the zoom in and zoom out transitions that have been real popular on YouTube over the last couple years, they have those in here. They have basic ones that zoom into your footage, one that zooms out of your footage, as well as all of these different zooms in between. You can see how many transitions there are there. So let's go ahead and collapse this one. And I want to talk about glitch. Everybody loves a good glitch transition in Again, there are a ton of these, and they all look good. Um, I'm a big fan of the VHS one because I love VHS and all things 1980s. I'm, I'm a weirdo. And, uh, you know, critical error. They have some that really have, like, a damaged look to your footage as it's transitioning. And then they have some that are a little, a little more subdued. Um, Game Crash is another really cool one, as well as... Let me see down here. I found one earlier that I liked. I think it was Broken Program. Um, this one is also super sick because it has like an RGB, um, you know, uh, color switch as it's transitioning. So you have a ton of cool glitch ones. Um, you have flip ones that flip the footage over. And really the last one I want to talk about is the splits. Um, I'm a big fan of these split transitions because... I think they just look cool, right? So this just splits your footage in either uh, in sections, whether you're going for three stripes or five stripes or two stripes, right? It tells you right there whether you want to do a vertical, like you can see on screen there, or if you want to do like a horizontal five stripe, uh, essentially cut up to your next footage. I just think that looks really cool, and I think that it gives you a real modern feel to your transition. So, guys... If nothing else, I would buy, I would pay full price for this all in one bundle just for the transitions because transitions are invaluable in your edit to making them look not just official, but more professional. Um, all the transitions in this video, uh, by the way, are done with Visual VFX transition pack. So if you think any of the transitions in this video look cool, then you will like this transition bundle. And while we're still here in DaVinci Resolve, I want to talk about the LUTs that Visual VFX has included with this pack because the LUTs are surprisingly good. Now, what I mean by that is, again, good LUTs are hard to find, especially this many LUTs. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Shift-6, go over to the Color tab, and we are in the LUT panel here. You can see right here on the left side, and right here you can see I have the Visual VFX LUTs installed. You could see that we have four different folders. We have cinematic, genre and scenes, cinematic Hollywood, creative style, and duotone. Now, I want to show you guys a few of these because I don't want to get too involved in all of these because, again, there's a ton, but I just want to show you how gnarly these LUTs are. So, cinematic, genre, and scenes. So, a lot of these have crazy names uh, because there are so many, but if you just watch and you see me hover over them, we have everything from black and white to things that mimic like battlefield movies, like war movies. Um, you have uh, city green port, city green block, city evening, all of these different looks, your cross-process looks. 
Um, you have film emulation looks in here. You have faded film looks in here. And you have modern Instagram looks that uh, these mimic those Instagram uh, presets that you would see on Instagram. We can go down and down and there's a ton, right? All the way down here to your yellow values, your vintage romantic. Um, the ones I like the most, though, are these cinematic Hollywood ones. Now, the reason I like these the most is because they're named after movies. And they mimic the look of the movie that they're named after. So when I go here, um, you have stuff like 1917 look, 21 Bridges, um, Ant-Man, Booksmart, Burn After Reading, Casino Royale, Crawl. If you guys never saw Crawl, it is rad. Doctor Sleep. Um, so you have all of these big name movies. Shazam, Shame, The Insider, Social Network, and Shape of Water. Shout out GDT. Um, the New World, Spider-Man, Far From Home. So all of these, if you like the look of those films, you have the look in here already. So John Wick. So let's look at a different piece of footage. So let's look at this footage. This is from a werewolf movie that I uh, I was shooting and I am reshooting. So um, I got this werewolf guy running across the road. Let's stop it right there and let's throw some of this on there. I mean, just look how much that changes that instantly. Shazam. Let's find one of their horror looks. If I wanted to, like, let's say, add a horror look to my horror film. So this is from the movie Us, Jordan Peele's Us. Uh, what other horror films? Uh, well, here's Joker, which isn't a horror film, but look how gnarly that looks. You know, that's just awesome. Um, let's see, what else do they have? Uh, it. So It, you know, Mr. Nobody, Into the Wild, Dr. Sleep. Uh, Django Unchained. So you have all of these super cool looks in here that is easily going to take your footage from looking bland to just looking, I don't want to say grand, but looking freaking rad. So you also have the creative styles. So this right here, these are also pretty dang good. Um, and there is a million in one of these. So you would really just have to spend time. And you can go in here and you can star these as well. You see me doing it there. That way you know which ones uh, you like. Um, and then the duotone. So the duotone's cool. The duotone is something I would use for like intros of videos or just in like creative segments in films, right? Because it gives you these cool like pop art looks. And I think that's really cool they included this because they didn't only include like your cinematic looks. They include these crazy creative looks as well. So guys, there is so much to cover in this all-in-one bundle. Um, let's hop back to the talking head. So full transparency, visual VFX didn't pay me or instruct me to give you guys a positive review on their product. They sent me the product and asked me to review it. And that is one thing that you can bank on on the Drusifer channels, always getting honest reviews and recommendations because I don't want to waste my time or my hard-earned money and I sure as hell don't want to waste your time or your hard-earned money reviewing and recommending garbage. So let me know down in the comments what you think of visual VFX. And if you purchased something from them, let me know what it is that you got and how you're using it. If you need help installing or using some of their assets, let me know too because I can help guide you guys there as well. And don't forget to follow the link in the description or use promo code DREW10 at checkout when you go to the Visual VFX store. That way you get an additional 10% off the sale price. And that's it for this one guys. If you're getting value from these videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up because that helps me a lot, and ding the bell so you don't miss any more killer content from the Drusifer channel. And as always guys, stay rad, just go shoot, and I'll catch you on the next one. See ya. Also, how does the audio sound on this? Does this Boomar sound better than past videos? Let me know down in the comments. See ya. Thank <laughs> you.